Hey guys, it's me Nerdy Nick here as you might know me White Nerdy and today I will be giving you guys my personal review on Guitar Hero Live. This is the PS4 edition obviously and in my next video I will do a review on Rock Band 4 or in a couple of videos, it, it depends, um, we'll see. But I wanted to give you guys my personal review on Guitar Hero Live because I had grown up playing uh, Guitar Heroes. I played all of them except Van Halen and Ban Hero. Ban Hero isn't really Guitar Hero though, so we're not going to talk about Ban Hero. Really here to talk about Guitar Hero Live. Um, first, let's start out with the lack of songs on disc. 42 songs. This game is a 54 gig install on my hard drive. And... It has 42 songs. Rock Band 4 is a 6 gig, five, about 5-6 five, gigs install on my hard drive. It has about 64, or at least 60, give or take. I may be wrong. And Rock Band 4 has the options of DLC. Guitar Hero's answer is Guitar Hero TV. It randomly shuffles through um, music videos, or you can do the on-demand catalog, and you have to have play credits to play. Now, the problem is with that, you have to have internet connection. But with Rock Band's DLC, you can download it and play it. So that's one of the things I don't really care about the game. Uh, it's nice that you can play all those extra songs, but having to have internet to play it, it's not too not too uh, great or for me. Well, I, I play them, and I enjoy them, but at the same time, it's like, man, too bad I can't pick a song I want, download it onto my PS4, have it saved on there. That way, later, I can just jump to that and play it. wouldn't have to wait for it to load. I wouldn't have to play online against people. I could just worry about me playing the game, me having my score, and all that. Um, taking a look at the box, it, you know, it shows that, shows guy presumably holding the guitar controller then guitar hero live and then the back just you know just shows a little screenshot and then the song list i won't go through that because there's plenty of that on the internet where you can just see it and look up the whole song list but then there's also hundreds of songs on guitar hero tv now i'll show you the guitar controller so this is the main guitar controller as you can see that's the uh, hero power button pause button uh, guitar hero tv button and then that's the power button i'm not going to turn that on just yet and then here is the new button layout uh not a big fan of it but it didn't take me that long to get used to it only took me about a couple songs Expert, though, is pretty tricky. Advanced is just a little too fast for me right now. So for now, I'm just playing on regular. But it's not that bad. I'm still enjoying the game. But I know at some point, I will get uh, used to Advanced and Expert. Now, one thing that bums me out, but is actually pretty helpful for me since I've been having problems with my uh, Bluetooth connectivity with my PS4, is you use a thumbstick or a little wireless dongle to plug into the PS4. That's what tells the PS4, uh, hey, there's a controller, it's going to connect, and it, think it connects through the USB. And then it uses a, a, pri um, a proprietary wireless connection, and presumably it's some sort of Bluetooth, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't even say, it just says Guitar Hero, or PS4. So if you try to plug this into your Xbox, it's not going to work. If you try to plug it into PS3, not going to work. It's only going to work for PS4. But it's good because on Rock Band 4, I'll be playing a song and it randomly disconnects the uh, guitar, the Rock Band guitar, and it'll make me um, lose my streaks. And it's really annoying. But with Guitar Hero Live, the proprietary wireless connection actually helps because it will um, it reduces latency 
and it prevents the disconnections. Now, of course, if you get too far from it, it's going to disconnect. Um, that's given. But with proprietary wireless, it really helps. So, my final thoughts on Guitar Hero Life. It's not a five-star game. I would give this maybe two and a half, three stars. Um, let's go ahead and say three stars. Because it brings back... It gives Guitar Hero a refresh. It gives it a new chance at uh, being a good music game. And it's its own thing. And that's what Guitar Hero has really been all about. Rockman copying Guitar Hero. And Guitar Hero is now doing its own thing with the Guitar Hero Live. But at the same time, it has its flaws. Um, short... Um, lackluster uh, set list on disc and the always online for Guitar Hero TV is not good for it as well. So three stars for Guitar Hero Live. Um, my thoughts anyways. Now of course everybody has their own thoughts, their own opinions. So if you have um, any comments or questions about why I uh, talked about this game the way that I talked about it, there's the comment section down below. And uh, if you like this video, favorite this video, uh, pr push, push that like button. That helps me out a lot. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, that helps me out too. I can also bring you guys more content. Um, at the same time, I'm trying to figure out how I can stream the game, even though Activision has blocked it through the um, instant capture through, PlayStation, through the software of PS4. So... Maybe I can figure out a way where I can capture it with my camera or something. I'm still trying to figure it out. So, until next time, stay tuned, my friends.